so repeatedly throughout um, these videos, I'll be talking about inside position. Inside position is another idea which is really important in jujitsu, but there's very little prior art. Um, if you're interested, I, I would check out Gary Tonin's uh, uh, Escape DVD, um, BJJ Fanatics. He has the best um, uh, explanation of inside position that, that I've seen. Uh, it's, it's really worth it. Um, throughout these videos, I'll cons constantly be talking about inside position, so I'm just going to take a minute to sort of uh, identify uh, what, what does it mean, why does it matter. So imagine uh, this position where I want to I, I want to submit Shivam. If I think of the the problem as uh, you know picking moves for a given situation, uh, things are going to get really complicated really quickly. If instead I think about uh, a continually upgrading inside position, starting from Shivang's feet all the way to his head. So in this example, imagine that uh, I have established inside position in, in this zone between Shivang's knees. Shivang would never let me do this, but uh, just for, for this example, uh, imagine that I've, I've dominated inside position somehow, okay? So I know that I have dominated inside position between Shivang's legs because he can no longer enclose me with his legs, okay, as he would in this type of configuration where I don't have inside position and in fact he is in control. The, the, proof, the proof positive that I have inside position is that he can no longer enclose me with his legs. So to upgrade this position, I now want to dominate the inside position between Shivang's chest and his hips, okay? So there are a lot of ways to do this. Just imagine that I back step out, and now I am dominating this inside position. So Shivang's legs can no longer assist his arms and vice versa. He can no longer connect his elbows to his knees. That's very important in guard passing. So my next upgrade is to dominate the inside position under his arms. So imagine I walk his hips over and scoop myself into this inside position. Now I'm dominating inside position under both arms, okay? So we went from between the knees to the hip line to under the arms. Now imagine that I want to dominate the inside position between his ears and his head. So here's a possible implementation where this arm is preventing him from connecting his ear to his elbow, okay? So now that I have dominated the inside position between his ear and his shoulder, I now want to take the inside position under his chin, okay? So that is Jiu-Jitsu 101 um, for Eakin Sinem. For our purposes, for this set of videos, we're really only concerned with three. We want the inside position between his ear and shoulder, and the inside position on his under his chin, and also inside position on the other side, because those are really the areas that, that matter most for strangling people.